Let's example. We are going to find dy by dx if in part A, we have the equation as 5 times x to the power 3 over 4 times y to the power 1 over 4 equals 16. So step number 1, d by dx of 5x to the power 3 over 4 y to the power 1 over 4 equals d by dx of 16. On the right hand side, that's the derivative of the constant. The result going to be 0. But on the left, this is in the form of the product. And at the same time, we have the constant multiple. So we're going to rearrange it a little bit before we get started with the derivative here. So I'm going to write it as 5 times d by dx of x to the power 3 over 4 times y to the power 1 over 4. And we treat this as a product of the first part as the f, the second part as the g. And on my side notes here, sin f is x to the power 3 over 4, and g is y to the power 1 over 4. So the f prime, which is df dx, going to be 3 over 4 times x to the power negative 1 over 4 where the g prime, we're going to use the general power rule to be 1 over 4, y to the negative 3 over 4 times y prime. Note that y prime is dy by dx. Then we're going to bring the pieces into the left-hand side for the derivative of the product by applying the product rule. So we're going to form it as f times g prime plus the f prime times g, and at the same time, multiply by 5. That will give us 5 multiplied by the f, which is x to the power 3 over 4, the g is 1 over 4 times y to the power negative 3 over 4 times y prime. And then plus the f prime for 3 over 4, x to the negative 1 over 4, and multiply by g, which is y to the power 1 over 4, equals 0. And after that, we just simplify. Since the left-hand side, the whole quantity multiplied by 5, so we divide all by 5. The right-hand side, 0 divided by 5, just 0. And we write it as uh, the nicer form as 1 over 4, x to the power 3 quarters, times y to the power negative 3 quarters, times y prime, plus 3 over 4, x to the one negative 1 quarters, times y to the 1 quarter, equals 0. Recall our problem as you are asked to find the dy by dx. So since step one, step one is to find the uh, derivative term by term using the implicit differentiation. I'm gonna write here. This is step one. We're gonna do we did dy by dx, and step number two, we are going to solve. We are going to solve for y prime. Okay, where is y prime? y prime is right here. That means we're going to leave that term alone. We subtract both sides by the term negative, oops, ne negative or minus 3 over 4 times x to the negative 1 over 4 times y to the 1 over 4 both sides. And this will be gone. And I'm going to need more room. So the left-hand side becomes just 1 over 4, x to the 3 over 4 times y to the negative 3 over 4 times y prime equals negative 3 over 4, x to the negative 1 over 4, y to the power 1 over 4. And next, we're going to clean up more by dividing with the coefficient of the y prime. So we divide all by 1 over 4, basically multiply all by 4.
let's let's do one thing at a time. So let's start with multiply all by four. So we're gonna have x to the power three over four, y to the power negative three over four, y prime equals negative three, x to the negative one over four times y to the power one over four. And then divide both sides by x to the power three over four. And divide both sides by y to the power negative three over four. So we can cancel this and this. Next, we're gonna get just y prime equals negative three for the x when you have the same base. When you do the quotient, the exponent can be subtracted from each other. So it's gonna be x to the power negative one over four minus three over four becomes negative one. Uh, at the same time, y to the power, the new gonna be one over four minus negative three over four gonna be just the whole one. Or we can write this as y prime equals negative three times y over x as the final answer.